Hello, I'm Count Kruger, and welcome to my my show, where we review the unknown. Today, we are going to look at, at what I consider a classic of the unknown. Hellboy. Hellboy follows, based off, based off the Dark Horse comic by Mike McNolan, directed by Guillermo del Toro. Hellboy follows the story of a story of a of a. A, char of a character by the name of, well, Hellboy, who's a devil, and he's recruited by the BBRD, or the Bi Bureau of Paranormal Research and Defense, to, se to essentially fight off all sorts of all sorts of unknown threats of the paranormal. So, so today, let's see how this movie be see how this movie explores that. Our movie begins with with narration by John Hurt. Hurt as he explain as as he as he well I'll let him explain. What is it that makes a man a man? Is it his origins, the way things start, or is it something else, something harder to describe? For me, it all began in 1944, classified mission off the coast of Scotland. The Nazis were desperate. Combining science and black magic, they intended to upset the balance of the war. I was 28, already a paranormal advisor to President Roosevelt. I could never have suspected that what would transpire that night would not only affect the course of history, but change my life forever. Great. We then follow him as we see him in, in some him with some soldiers attempting to to stop a Nazi plot. And the soldiers aren't really that helpful. As well as No men! They'll need these. <laughs> Are you a Catholic? Yes. Among other things. But that's hardly the point. Well you're gonna need one of these. I abhor the use of violence. Thank you. I wouldn't want you to think me mad, Sergeant Whitman. No, oh, three days too late for that, Professor Froome. All right, you guys, let's move, 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 move! This way, left way! Come on, man, let's get the lead out! We're close! You're wasting our time. There's nothing on this island but sheep and rocks! Ruins, not rocks. Put it right here, guys! The remains of Trondam Abbey, built on an intersection of ley lines. The boundaries between our world and the others. What a load of crap! Hell, a week ago, I never even heard the word paranormal. Paranormal. Move it! Clearly not so smart. So the battle then begins. <laughs> with, um, with Gregor. With everybody seemingly getting killed. Or do they? So, so, so at first it seems like the battle is won, but something else seems to have come out of the portal as they investigate. They then see it's just a little red devil boy, which they decide to put in a photograph. And then the opening credits. Which does a great job of explain of explaining or of showing all the years that Hellboy has of all the sightings of Hellboy and hey they even reference the comic book so include the comic book into this so I guess that yeah. wonder if they'll do that sometime later perhaps they'll do it in Captain America the First Avenger nah but that'll never happen so we then. So we then fast forward to the present day of 2004, where it's Halloween, what else? Where we see characters like the Bureau Chief, the FBI Chief, played by, played by, played by Jeffrey Tambor. And this exits into, into, we then cut to a young trainee, where we see, where we start to see, see many different characters from the comic appear. Like, like the Gilman, like the, like Abe Sapien, who's named after Abraham Lincoln and Sapien, and Mr. Sa Mr. Sapien, and also our titular character, played by Doug, 
of Doug Jones, who plays Gabe Sapien, and our titular character, Hellboy, played by Ron Perlman. And act and he actually does a really great job at playing playing Hellboy. And even and we also see them go on a mission. Where we discover Sam Samael the Desolate One, the Hound of Resurrection. And and well, Hellboy doesn't do a good job at first, but manages to catch him. It's then learned that this may be a plot in Rasputin's Putin's evil plan. So And we then, as Abe so eloquently points out when we see him see him investigating. But it turns out that the professor is sick and dying and doesn't want Hellboy to, to know about it. Hellboy also has a crush on a, ch on a chick who can control fire. Interesting. And Grigori Rasputin causes her to destroy the mental institution, which causes her to go to the BPRD. The BPRD then investigates more about Samaya the Desolate One. As we then go to, as we cut to an underground crypt where they don't do such a stellar performance as several agents are killed, Hellboy reacts not so well. <laughs> Man down, I need an ambulance right away. Do you read me? Hang in there, pal. Man down, do you read? Do you read? Quarry Moss, do you read me? Sorry, Moss, do you read me, man? Down! He'll make it. Not everyone was so lucky. We had uh, two agent die today. Clay probably won't survive the night. Not now, man. My problem Please. with you. You're reckless. These men trusted you to lead them as a team. Where were you? I knew those men better than you did. Oh, I see. Well, that makes it all right. No, it doesn't make it all right. But I stopped that thing, didn't I? Yes, it did. That's what you do. That's why we need you. You have an insight. You know monsters. What are you trying to say? This whole thing is a farce. Because in the end, after you've killed, after you've captured every freak out there, there's still one left. You. Hey, uh, Manning, I wish I could be more gracious, but... Only for the weekend, Professor Burn. I want, I want that thing locked up, starting now, right now. Do you? No, no, you hear me? Nothing's. And then, and then, we then cut and so forth. We then see 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 the see them dissecting thing one of the soldiers left off, who is also in the opening scene. Unfortunately, though, he wakes up and kills the professor. They then hold a funeral for him. Feeling guilty, they decide to avenge the professor by discovering it, discovering the creature's source. They go. Find Rasputin. Rasputin then tries to manipulate Hellboy with, by essentially growing horns and trying to convince him to go to the good side. But Hellboy takes off those horns, stabs him, morphs into a giant creature, and then Hellboy, proper, Hellboy and friends properly destroy. And so the rest of our bad guys go, and our movie so eloquently ends. Well, I don't need to say it, say it, but I really like this movie. I think it really did a great job of adapting the comic book, but also having enough of, enough to make it a creature of its own. Pardon my, 
fun. So I give this movie a good recommendation. I am Count Kruger, and thanks for visiting the unknown.